Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Suhanna. I make videos and I post a new video every week. Let me start this whole video by saying I am not a hairstylist. I do not know how to cut hair. I don't cut anyone else's hair. I only ever cut my own hair. I'm just always being asked about my haircut and what I personally ask for when I go to get my haircut, but I do not go to get my haircut. I cut my own hair and I do not recommend you guys doing it. The only reason why I have a video of me cutting my own hair is because I kept getting asked about it, but to make your lives easier, I'm going to give you guys some tips and some things to consider before you go and get your next haircut. The first thing you need to consider is do you want to get a straight cut or a curly cut? And when you're deciding if you want a straight cut or a curly cut, you need to consider how often you wear your hair natural. For me, I wear my natural hair probably 89% of the time. I do straighten my hair from time to time. I like to blow dry it. I like to curl it sometimes. So for me, when I cut my own hair, which again, I do not recommend you do. I'm not telling you to cut your own hair because if you cut your own hair and you mess it up, you're going to blame me. Don't blame me if you choose to do it, okay? But when I cut my own hair, I blow dry my hair and flat iron it and then I cut it myself and I give myself a straight cut long layers in a v-shape that's what works for myself if you are somebody who does not heat style who does not wear their hair straight you could do a curly cut because it can actually make your hair bounce up more give you more volume give you more definition whereas if you were to get a curly cut and then you were to straighten your hair your hair can actually turn out very uneven and look kind of wonky so that is something to consider before you decide to get either a straight cut or a curly cut The next thing that you need to consider and take into account is your face shape and your head shape. A lot of you who ask me about my layers and the shape of my hair, you are basically asking me going off of my face shape and my head shape. I have a small head, I have a small forehead, I have a long nose and a long face and then a big jawline. So the way I cut my layers around my face is to kind of hide my jawline but also make my face you know, I try to not elongate my face too much. If I had long, like really long layers around my face and didn't have anything framing my face, my face would just look super long. So I try to make sure I cut my hair in a way that complements my face. Just because it complements my face, it doesn't mean it's gonna complement yours. So your face shape and your head shape are very, very important. And I am going to link an article in the description that talks about different face shapes and the types of layers and haircuts that you can get based on your face. The density and diameter of your hair also play a major role in determining what kind of haircut will look best on you and will make your hair look best. If you have fine hair that is low density or you might have medium hair that's low density, someone like me, then you might want to look at layers that get a little bit choppier at the top or a little bit wispier because they will create fullness. If you get a blunt cut and your hair is fine or just looks thinner, that will also create more fullness and make your hair look thicker than it really is. If you have thicker, denser hair, there are more haircuts that you can get away with. You can do long layers, but you can also do short, shaggy layers. My friend Irene, Irene's Beauty Times over on Instagram, she has a shag and it looks incredible on her hair because her hair is really, really dense and really coarse. And she has like 2B to 3A hair and her hair looks incredible. So if you have thicker, denser hair, you can play around with different types of layers a little bit more than somebody who has finer hair. And because your hair is so thick and so dense, you can even get your hair sheared out a little bit and you'll still have a lot of hair to spare. I also recommend doing consultations with multiple hairstylists, whether you choose to get a curly cut or a straight cut, if you do not have a go-to hairstylist, someone that you trust to cut your hair, especially if you're doing a big chop, I highly recommend doing consultations with at least three different stylists just to compare what they think will look best on you and also to share ideas with them and then you can choose based off your consultations because it's really, really easy to just 
go to one person, be like, oh, I want a curly cut, and then they just cut your hair, and then you don't like it, and you're stuck with it until it grows out. And if all else fails and you have no idea about what to do with your hair and you want to take some length off, the most universally flattering haircut based off of what I've seen from like Birdie and Vanity Fair and Allure and all those websites I was looking at, um, haircuts that fall between your chin and your shoulders are said to be the most universally flattering on all face shapes for all hair types. Regardless if you have straight hair or curly hair or wavy hair like us, you can straighten it, you can curl it, you can put some waves in it, you can do whatever you want with that haircut. And especially if you get it cut blunt, like a blunt lob, it can make your hair look very, very thick. I think the only downfall to that haircut is that you have to style it pretty often, which is why I always keep my hair very long because I don't care to style my hair and if I do style it, it's just me straightening it or curling it. I don't really like to style my hair every single day, whereas I feel if you were to get a lob that fell between your chin and your shoulders, you're going to have to do a lot more styling and there's more maintenance. If you are interested in getting a big chop, getting a shorter haircut, that is pretty foolproof again between the chin and the shoulders. Before you go and get your next haircut, I hope you guys keep all of these factors in mind and do your research. I always encourage you guys to do your own research simply because so many of you send me messages, leave me comments, pretty much asking me questions that really should be directed to a professional hairstylist, especially a hairstylist who specializes in textured hair. That's not me. I can only give you as much information as I have. So do your research before you go and get your next haircut. And again, I recommend booking a consultation with more than one stylist just so you can get some more ideas. And then you're way less likely to get a haircut that you're going to hate. So if you liked this video and you found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And if you want to follow me on Instagram just to keep up with me on stories, all that kind of stuff, you can do that if you want to. But that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.